Hello, everybody. This is Molly. How are y'all doing this morning? Okay, I have a little bit of a haul and a little bit of a, I'm going to call it a project, but it was really more playing that I want to share with y'all. Okay, I'm um, trying to put myself on a scrapbook budget. I'm getting away of the light. And so I'm trying to use up my stash. However, I can't resist buying some new things and all. I'm always trying stuff. So one of the things I had been looking for was how to use my Cricut expression more often and all the cartridges that I have and to make titles. Now you know there's a lot of places online that sell wonderful scrapbook page titles and things and they're about anywhere from a dollar to you know three dollars, four dollars a piece or something like that. So I figured out I could go buy parts to it, use my Cricut expression and make my own page titles and things and now I make it you'll see I've got more than one of some of them I'm going to be making for friends and stuff. So let me show you what I did. What I was on the hunt for was something, one of my frustrations with the Cricut was when I, uh, with the expression, when I cut out with cardstock or paper, my, it would often tear the edges, you know, not tear, but ball up around the edges or not cut smooth. And then it didn't quite have the um, strength that I was looking for. I tried to use um, chipboard. Ooh, but that was a little bit too hard for me to cut through and all that kind of stuff. So what I did was I went on the hunt for some kind of paper that was heavier weight and that I could use to cut. So this is what I found. I went to Hobby Lobby. They had a, a sale on all of their art pads and art papers and stuff. And I was looking for the weight. If you can see that, that's 140 pounds. Most card stock is in the um, you know 80 to 90 pound uh, weight, 96 pound or something like that. And so I was looking for something over 100 pounds. This was the heaviest I could find. They do have some watercolor paper that is 240 pounds, but it's uh, grainy, and I wasn't sure I wanted that. This paper from Strathmore called Mixed Media, so it gave me the courage to think I could color it and dye it and boss it and do all kinds of stuff. And, all. and what I want you to, well, that is one. But if you can hear, I don't know if you can hear how thick it is. I don't want to blind you with the white. It is thick, 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 and it holds its weight. Plus, when I put it in the expression, it cut like butter. It was, the edges were smooth as silk. I didn't have a new blade in, but um, all the other things I've been cutting, I'm struggling. This stuff cut the swirls, it cut the edges, it cut the corners, it cut out the little bitty pieces. It, it cut beautifully. So then I got to playing with coloring. So, anybody here thinking of what I might have used to color some things? Hmm. Oh, yes, of course, Lindy's. Um, so, I got out some of my Lindy's and started playing. Now, the first thing I did was I used, uh, let me pick up this word. I used some Lindy's embossing powders and embossed it, the word. Can you see how heavy weight that is? See how sturdy those little swirls are and all? So, it's not chipboard. It's much lighter weight. See how pretty those smooth cuts are? You know, but it took the embossing powder so well, and it's got the strength I need, so I feel like if I just pop that up on a page, um, good to go. Okay, so there's that. Now, I want to show you some other things. Here's the, the word memories I cut out. And again, look how sturdy that is. Look how, you want to see how thin that cut is, and yet it's just as sturdy as it could be. This is a Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder, and it's just beautiful. And I don't know if you can see how gorgeous, but it is stunning. Okay, now this one right here, I cut the word memories again. And this Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder, I just want to give a shout out to. Oh my God, isn't it gorgeous? Ugh, I don't know if y'all can see how gorgeous. It's called Midnight uh, Gold Obsidian. I don't know if I can take the time for that kind of thing. Midnight Gold Obsidian. I'm going to a cra uh, crop soon with over 200 something women, and so I put my name on it. Anyway, um, it that is the most gorgeous color. It's masculine, it's heritage, it's grunge, it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the two-tone effect. Oh my God, you're going to need this in your arsenal. Midnight Gold of City, and the spray and the embossing powder, done. Okay, this is the word together. You can see the T is two different parts, but again, just as sturdy as it could be, so I have faith I can, you know, pop that up. Here's the word together. Now, I bent this. I did that myself. I almost stepped on it. Anyway, uh, oops, let me turn around. So there's together. Uh, anyway, and this is in a gorgeous uh, olive color. But look how thin that cut is. And it's just as sturdy. I don't know if you can see this. 
sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. So that's the mixed media paper. Okay, then, enough with the embossing powder. I got out my Lindy spray. Oh, let me show you this for a minute. Okay, it's spring. I'm in my jammies. My hair's not done. My makeup's not on. But just for you, I got dressed. See, I put my rings on. Isn't that the most tacky, gorgeous ring? It's a Heidi Doss ring from HSN. I do not work for HSN. I do not work for Heidi Doss. However, if she wants to send me more rings, isn't that stunning? Anyway, so I put this on to get dressed up for y'all this morning. Not look behind the camera. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so here is what Lindy Stamp Gang does. This paper, I don't know if you can see, I cut out with the back of tablets. It's like a coated paper, and the Lindy Stamp Gang stuck to it, but it's a much lighter color. And this is the you know the back of a scrapbook pad. Good and heavy, but it didn't give me the finishing ability I wanted. Okay. This is that little um multimedia paper. I don't know if y'all can see this is doing the justice, but if you can see how sturdy this is, ding, 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 sturdy, uh, and the Lindy Stamp Gang colors took to it beautifully. Oh my God, now doesn't that make a page title? And you can just imagine you can boss it, you can color it, you can watercolor it. But it's mixed media paper. So there's that. Here it is in pinks and yellows and oranges mixed together. Well, the pink and yellows, and then they made orange. Isn't that, oh my God. Now this is a Cricut cartridge I had from a long time ago. I think it's called Lovely Florals. Isn't it cute? Okay, we're going to a scrapping convention to mention that. Now, the other thing I want to remind y'all of Lindy's, because I'm such a Lindy's, what's the word I'm looking for? Do I have too much sunlight coming across there? Yes. Anyway, I won't tell you what, I was, what word was in my mind. But I didn't let any of the Lindy's go to waste. I used every ounce of the Lindy's that was left on the, I always spray on aluminum foil or wax paper so the extra Lindy's I can pop up, you know, and make ribbons and stuff. So here's the extra Lindy's. Can y'all see? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The sun's starting to come in more and more, so we're going to get blinded. In okay, so that was my first purchase. All of that just for to show you the mixed media from Strathmore, 140-pound white card stock I use. Okay, now, you know how they say the little things in life that sometimes the greatest pleasure? These are little things I found at Hobby Lobby's. And I just made my day. Okay. Uh, they're little flowers. Is that cute? Here they are in gray. Of course, they're from Paper Studio, so they were half off. Here they are in purple. Isn't that cute for filling in blues? I love them. Pinks and burgundy. Oh, my God. They only had one pack of this, so that's all I could buy, but I would have bought more. don't think I didn't buy more of all these others. And then, of course, white. So perfect little fill-ins. I don't know if I'm doing them justice here, but they have a little glitter finish to them, and they have the cutest little natural color. Mmm, something in the middle. So just perfect little filler flowers. So the little things in life. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. I appreciate that so much. The other thing I bought half off, I didn't spend too much. I did buy some paper packs on sale. I'm not going to show you all. I bought some other stuff I'm not going to show you. But these are little... um. You can see what they are. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, they're chalk. Uh, you know, they have a little chalk thing in there, and they are whatever you think you want to call these metal frames. Uh, anyway, so pretty heritage and new mixed together with the chalk and the frame. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now I went to Michael's because an evil friend—I mean, an uh, enabler friend of mine—showed me some flowers that I had to have, and butterflies, and they're in the two-dollar bin at my Michael's. Look how pretty. They have like script on them. I love the paper. I love the fact that they actually used, um, you know, pretty centers and all in them. I don't know if six for two dollars is a great deal, but it's the deal I paid. And then tons of little butterflies. Aren't they cute? So I bought them in white, the blues, and the corals. I love them. Okay, so that was Michael's of the two dollar bin. I've got to do a wedding album for my gorgeous niece that got married. And these were out of the dollar bin. I'm sure y'all have seen them already. Anyway, they're gorgeous. I don't want to take off. Uh, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Imagine that on a wedding album. Or I'm even thinking in a Christmas thing, mixed in uh, the fact that they have the glitter and white together and all would be pretty in Christmas arrangements. And so then I bought the other little things that went with them. Gosh, this is looking so bright. I hope I can do something with the color. Okay, so that's that from Michael's. The other thing I bought from Michael's. Look, they have these little post pins that say, uh, handmade with love. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, so imagine if you make, like, I make that spiced tea at Christmas, or you do scrapbooking pieces, or 
just little things, a little office desk thing or something. You could, how cute, just put the tag on that. Okay, also in the $2 bin, speaking of titles, they have these little woodcut words. Love them, love them. Okay, found this in the dollar bin. Happy. Thank you. Okay, Lindy Spray, here it comes. Now, the other thing was, this was last week, they had the 15% off, including sale items. And this collection was the Romance. Let me tell you what I think I'm going to call it. Vintage Romance Collection. OMG. Can you see how gorgeous they are? That's the light blue. This is crystal clear. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, they were expensive, but they were half off and got 15% off. Look at this connector piece. Oh, geez, Louise, that's pretty. Look at this. Gorgeous. Okay, about that. And then... I bought as many of these as they had, which is only three, but anyway, aren't they pretty? Love them. Love them. Okay. Oh, and last but not least, Prima had this globe they came out with, and I tried to get it from a couple of different sites, and they were sold out. I happened to be in Hobby Lobby, and half off this week, they were, it was originally, give me a second, I'll tell you, five ninety nine. so it came down to $3, which is, I think, what Prima was selling their globe for, I don't know what, $3, probably two ninety nine, something like that. So, globe and a little pair of binoculars. Had to have it. Okay, that was it for my shopping haul, and I'm calling it a project. You've got to use the lenies on that paper. You can use your own imagination to make things. I would love it if you'd share them. Okay, love y'all to death. Hope you're having fun scrapping. Please leave a comment. Go to my blog, I love mini albums.blogspot.com. And uh, I do have some mini albums on my craft table. I'm trying to finish, but I just haven't gotten to them. Okay, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And then in a minute, I'm going to be trying to film a. Uh, video of a whole bunch of scrapbook pages and stuff. So, okay, y'all have fun. Bye-bye.